death, my brother! Dare <laughs> touch my figurines! In the midst of an active campaign! Oh, come on! Uh, Barley, where'd you come from? I snuck in the back. Why? Yeah, why, Barley? Huh. <clears throat> no reason. Come on, Ian, I know you're stronger than that. Come on, you can get out of this. You just gotta tap into your primal brain. I'm not tapping into any brain, just let me go! Okay, I gotta go. Bye, Mom. I tell you what, I'll drive you to school. No, oh, no, it's okay. Ah, come go. on, it's your birthday. We'll herald your arrival for all to witness. No! Thank you. But I like that idea that you keep going, okay, I won't, or I will. Yeah, sure thing. And you keep, no, please you don't. Keep, and you're probably leaving the door like, okay, so you're not, don't. So you're not <laughs> coming to get me, right? No, I am. No, don't come and get me. Copy that. No. I'll be right there. Please. I'll be there. I don't want you to pick me up from school. I can make my own way. I'm my I own man now. You don't have to do that. I'm going to get you. I, I insist. I don't want you to go through the trouble. That's so sweet. I'll be there after school. No, Stop. thank you so much. So you're not you're coming? You're welcome. You're not coming? No, I'm not coming. To, I'm not dropping you off at school. Okay, awesome. So you're not picking me up from school. No, either. I am picking you up. See you're you not picking me up. Well, I can take you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, you know what I bought my kiss's birthday boy? Scoff boy! He today is a birthday man! What's up with the socks? Oh, I met a friend of Dad's last night, and he said that he used to wear them, so... Huh. Nah, I don't remember that about Dad. Well, you do only have, like, two memories of him, so... No, I have three. Remember his beard was scratchy, had a goofy laugh, and he used to play drums on his feet. On his feet. It'd go... Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> okay. Um... Sure. Command the can to rise. Okay, uh... <clears throat> Aloft Elevar! No, like. Aloft Elevar! Aloft Elevar! Command it. Aloft Elevar! No! Command Al it! Aloft Elevar! Command it! I am commanding it! I'm just clearly not good at this. Behold, your chariot awaits! <sighs> This is so fun, Tom. I mean, it is fun. You get a real different magic when you put two people together. Here we go. I can't get this levitation spell to work. Aloft Elevar! You have to speak from your heart's fire. Aloft Elevar! Aloft Elevar! No, from your heart's fire! Aloft Elevar! Heart's fire! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. From the heart's fire. <laughs> what did you do at work today? Tom and I just shouted, heart's fire and a love elevar at yeah. each other. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Listen, it's time to tell you all about Pixar's new movie, Onward. Okay, so it's about a family. It's about a quest. It's also about these two brothers. Right, two brothers. <laughs> <laughs> It takes place in a world that's a lot like ours, <laughs> but with unicorns, elves, trolls, feisty sprites. Answer me when I'm talking to you. The brothers tried to use a magic spell to bring back their dad for just one day. But there's a catch. There is always a catch. They kind of messed up the spell. Ah, I definitely remember dad having a top part. Yeah, that didn't go quite as planned. Now they're on a quest to fix the spell, bring back dad and save the day. It's pretty simple, right? I forgot to tell them about the cars. Well. <laughs> You'll see. Oh, no. Also, those unicorns. Shoo, get out of here. They're real jerks, man. Yeah. I have something for you from your dad. This brings him back. Like, back to life? The film Onward is a tale of two brothers trying to finally meet their father. I'm gonna meet dad? They perform this spell, which will hopefully bring their dad back. Hang on! It's a pretty great concept that has so much heart. Dad? Ah, there's no top part! And that's exactly what Pixar does so well. We've only got 24 hours to bring back the rest of Dad. When Chris got the role, he called Tom and said, I'm your brother. <laughs> this is so fun, Tom. I mean, it is fun. The best part of the job was the fact that I got to do it with my buddy Chris. For any spell to work, you have to speak from your heart's fire. Oh, off Delavar! Hearts! 
Fire! <laughs> I love these two whippersnappers. And as the mother of two teenage boys, I have that in common with Laurel because that's been the joy of my life. Now take out the trash. Family is important. I'm looking for my sons. Oh, they went on a quest. But don't worry, I told them about the map. I told them about the gym. I told them about the curse. <gasps> I forgot to tell them about the curse. The what? This definitely pulls at the heartstrings. I just want to meet you. That's why I love Pixar movies. You always walk away feeling like you've been a part of something real. <laughs> at Pixar, we're really encouraged to tell personal stories. My father passed away when I was a year old. So when you're making a personal story, you get to delve into something that's real and encouraging for other people. You can do this. I believe in you. It's moving because it's rooted in real relationships. And that's the fun of making one of these movies is, at some point, it's the story of all the people who helped make it. And then it becomes the story of all the people who watch it. I have a gift from your dad. Dear Ian and Barley, long ago, the world was full of magic. Over time, magic faded away. In Onward, the world gave up on magic in favor of everyday conveniences. And in that world, these two teenage elf brothers have a magical opportunity. It's a wizard staff. Dad was a wizard. To meet their father, who passed away when they were young. Unfortunately, it goes wrong. Ah, just legs! We only have 24 hours to bring the rest of him back. We're going on a quest. Yeah! Yeah! Ian Lightfoot. It's kind of, you know, like an awkward teenager who's trying to find himself. If you like parties, then um, I was going to do a party. Tom's really great as Ian. I play his big brother, Barley, who's this bumbling, well-intentioned ding-dong. Behold, your chariot awaits! <laughs> There's something similar about our relationship. You see it in the physicality. Ta-da! Oh, that's great! Dad, you look just like I remember. Happy birthday! Mom, Laurel, adores Barley and Ian, so when they go on this quest, she becomes their fierce mama protector. I'm looking for two teenage elves. We'll start at the Manticore's Tavern. It's run by a fearless adventurer. I play Cory the Manticore. Quick! Somebody help me! These Griffin Nuggets were supposed to go out minutes ago! She's not the Manticore that she once was. But don't worry, I told them about the map, I told them about the gym, I told them about the curse. <gasps> I forgot to tell them about the curse! <laughs> You know this movie is going to be a wild ride. Son of a <laughs> it's a really big adventure. And it's this amazing cast <laughs> that really brings the story to life. Hold 